back to my channel. So today we're sitting down and we're doing a shop my stash get ready with me. You guys seem to really enjoy these types of videos and I personally love filming them. I think they are so much fun to take you with me as I shop my stash and pick out a full face of makeup. So that's what we're doing here today. Before we get started, don't forget I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for you guys. If you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And other than that, if you're excited and you want to see me shop in my stash, picking a full face of makeup, and then we're going to apply it, baby, then let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're going to start up here with primer. And I actually think I want to give this one a go again. The Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. I've only used this two times, and I've liked it so far, but I just have not gotten my thoughts on it. So I definitely want to give this a go. All righty, then for foundation, you know what? I want to give the Tarte Found Sealer another go as well. I was watching one of my older Get Ready With Me's because sometimes I like to do that just to, you know, see how far I've come, how my editing has improved, how I've gotten better on camera and more comfortable. So I was watching one of like my first Get Ready With Me's ever and I was using this and I was like, I have not reached for that foundation in so long. So we're gonna give this a go today. We're gonna come over here to this bag. This is my like Project Pan bag and a couple other items that I just want to get more use out of and we are going to grab quite a few things out of here so first we're going to grab concealer and for that i'm just going to use this combo i've been using my ColourPop pretty fresh with my kvd good apple concealer we're also going to grab my jason Wu ready set matte setting powder because this is in my project pan and it is almost gone and i'm really wanting to use it up i'm going to jump the gun a little bit and pick out some products that are later in my makeup routine but for that we are going to go ahead and use my jason Wu. A magic spell setting spray again project pan trying to use it up and I already know what eyeshadow palette I want to use and it's a little bit more colorful so this Huda Beauty lipstick in the shade impress is a nice nude sort of shade that I think will go with it very well might as well choose my lip liner while I'm at it and we're gonna go with Charlotte Tilbury iconic nude I'm obsessed with this lip liner I can't stop using it and it goes with that Huda lipstick so perfectly and the palette I know I want to use is this one right here from ColourPop this is from their sure thing collection that just recently launched at Ulta this is in to wait and see and you guys i am not a blue eyeshadow kind of gal but i don't have to work today and i figure this is a good day to test it out i would not feel comfortable i don't think wearing these tones to work but i want to give this a go because these shades are so stunning so we're going to try this out today for highlight i'm going to go with my nabla ozone highlight just because that eyeshadow palette is going to be so bright and blue i want something that's going to like stand up to it and be impactful but not too intense on the cheeks we're also going to go with tarte man eater mascara this is my favorite and it makes my lashes look so stinking good and again with eyeshadows those bright and bold I just need something that's going to stand up to it. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Charlotte Tilbury. This is her um, clear brow gel, brow fix gel. I don't love this, but I'm just kind of like unofficially trying to use it up. And we're going to go back to this sag right here and also grab her um, brow lift pencil. Again, it's in my project pan. I don't want to use it up. And this baby is taking me forever. <laughs> Then for blush, I definitely want to pick one that's going to go really nicely with that bright blue eyeshadow palette and not compete with it too much. I think I want to use this Buxom one. This is their Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in the shade Seychelles. I feel like this will be a really nice, just neutrally kind of bronzy, kind of rosy sort of shade that'll go with the eyeshadow. Next up for bronzer. <laughs> You guys, this drawer is a hot mess. It's a hot mess express. I think I wanna go for another product that I haven't used in a while. And for that, I wanna use my Tarte. This is their creamy, breezy um, bronzer, something like that, in the shade Seychelles. It is a cream bronzer, but we'll just set it down with powder and I think it'll look really pretty with this look. Alrighty, and I'm pretty sure <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a full face of makeup. I'm excited to use a bunch of these goodies. So let's get to applying. This is a blue eyeshadow palette. I am not a blue eyeshadow kind of girl. This color is very intimidating to me. Honestly, any blues, teals, navies, like it doesn't matter, royal blues, it doesn't really matter like what shade of blue it is. In an eyeshadow formulation, it is just intimidating to me. I don't know what it is about the color. I'm sure quite a few of you guys maybe will agree with me, but we are playing with this baby today. I am really excited actually to play with this. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. And we're going to start by putting this into the crease. All right. Let's go for a second layer. There we go. It's like that first layer is not really showing up very much, but there we go. A second layer is definitely helping. I mean, the shade is beautiful. I love the color blue. I especially like wearing it, but I don't know what it is about blue eyeshadow that just, it makes me think of the 80s and it just makes me think like I'm out of style and it's just, I don't know. I feel like it's a hard color to 
not feel intimidated by. But this shade is blending out really beautifully. And I really like the tone of this blue. It's like a really nice marine aqua -y sort of blue. So that color blended out really nicely. We are going to go into this deeper blue right here. I have had some hit or misses with these types of quads from ColourPop, and I'm really afraid that this deep blue is going to get patchy, but you don't know until you put it on your eyes. So I just got a little bit, ooh, that is pigmented, wow. Okay, I am getting fallout on my face even though I did tap off my brush, but that's why I do my eyes first. I'm going to lightly start to bring this into the crease. This is a pigmented shade, wow. <laughs> That one dip into the pan is going really, really far. Okay. Well, I actually really like that blue. It's like a denim genie sort of blue. It's definitely not as dark as it looks in the pan, but I don't mind that. I'm just going to take my time trying to blend and buff this out. I know blues can be really hard to formulate, and I feel like it's getting slightly patchy, but again, blues are really hard to formulate, so I'm not like that upset about it. All right, going to do the same thing to this eye. I feel like this eye is getting slightly more patchy in this outer corner here and even into the crease. We're going to go back to that first brush and first shade and try to really buff this out. See if that helps with the, yeah, that's helping with the patchiness over there. I like these two blues together. I think they complement each other really nicely. All right, next I'm going to take glitter primer, put it on this portion of my lid. And I'm going to take this beautiful like tealy sort of shade here. It almost looks like it has a flip to it. Oof, that looks beautiful. I actually think that this shade would also look really beautiful if you put like a brown and tan color eyeshadow into your crease and then just had this be like the pop of blue on your lid. I think that would also be a really pretty look. It's got like some gold sparkle flakes in it. If you can see, that is a really, really pretty shade. Like beautiful. It almost looks, I don't know if they were like going for this. I wouldn't be surprised if they were because it's called wait and see and the sea part is S-E-A like the sea, the ocean, but it almost looks like the ocean water like glittering on your eyeballs, which sounds kind of weird to say, but that is a really beautiful shade. I kind of want to recreate this look, but with those brown shades, like I was saying, I think that that would be, just be so beautiful, but it's really pretty with the blues as well. Definitely different for me out of my comfort zone, but uh, I like it. Then we're giving this hard candy sheer envy hydrating primer a go. I have used this one or two times and I really liked it, but I don't know. I haven't gotten my full thought on it it's really like jelly and hydrating i think i put way too much on shoot it's really jelly and hydrating when you first apply it and then as you start rubbing it into your skin it just gets like tackier as it dries down which i don't hate but i also just don't know if i love it <laughs> so definitely trying to get my thoughts on it so I'll definitely keep using that primer and let you guys know when I finally do get my full thoughts on it. Next up, we have the Tarte Found Sealer. And this I picked up the shade 16N Fairlight Neutral. That is definitely a little bit too deep of a shade for my everyday foundation shade, but I went to a pool day yesterday at my parents' house and then I've also been fake tanning. So I think it'll match me today. We are gonna pump out a little bit on my hand. How I like to use this, I like to spread it out with my fingers, which I don't love to do that with like any other product, but with this foundation, it's more medium coverage, which I typically don't enjoy. I probably should have taken my earrings off, but it's more medium coverage, which I usually don't enjoy, but I found that when I apply it like this, where you rub it out with your fingers first and then go in and blend it out with a sponge, it helps keep quite a bit of the coverage and gives me just that extra coverage that I enjoy in a foundation, but I just really like the finish of this foundation. From what I remember, I haven't reached for it in a long time, so I'm hoping that I like it still. <laughs> I look crazy. Now we're going to blend it out with the sponge. Okay, I think I'm remembering why I like this foundation so much. It is really beautiful on this skin. It does leave a pretty dewy finish, but when I set it down with powder, it's usually fine. I'm really hit or miss when it comes to Tarte foundations. I usually don't like them on me. I've tried quite a few in the past, and this has really been the only one recently that I've enjoyed but it, you can't deny it. Like that's looking really pretty on my skin and it is giving me enough coverage, which is nice. Yeah, I'm hoping this wears really nicely throughout the day because so far it's looking really pretty and it's not clinging onto any dry patches on my forehead and my nose, which is very, very rare for a foundation to not do that. We're just going in with ColourPop, uh, what is this pretty fresh concealer. I have the shade Fair 20N in, in this and actually with this foundation, it's looking like a pretty decent shade match, but normally it's a little bit dark on me. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of 
the KVD concealer to lighten it up a little bit. This is not a new concealer combination for me. You guys have seen me use this quite a few times on my channel. But my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer is now in my project pan. I'm going to film that video after this one. However, that video is going up first. So you will have seen that I rolled this into my project pan and I'm trying to use it up. If you missed that video, I will have it linked in the eye and down below for you to check out. If you are a project panner, I am not typically a project panner, but I decided to do one this year and I'm having so much fun, you guys. It is such a good feeling to finish up makeup. I mean, you spend so much time and money on makeup. So like to actually like get your money's worth out of a product and use it up, oh, it's such a good feeling. Alrighty, before we set this face down with powder, which like it needs to be set down with powder, it's looking a little breezy. We are gonna go in with the Tarte Breezy Cream Bronzer in the shade Seychelles. Shade Seychelles is always so, oh, my blush is Seychelles too. I didn't even plan that out, oh, look at me. Um, This is a pretty moussey sort of formula, a little bit on the drier side. I don't want that to scare you. It blends out beautifully, you'll see in a second, but I do like to just kind of like rub my finger across it to get it a little bit warmed up before I use it. And then we're just going in with my e.l.f. stipple brush to blend this on the face. I do not give this bronzer enough love on my channel, but it's a really good bronzer. I think it's really underrated just in general, but I talked about it recently in my like best cream contour and bronzer is a video. I can have that linked in the eye down below in case you missed that. I put that up a couple weeks ago and I don't know. I just feel like I talked about it in that video, but I haven't really shown it recently on my channel in action. So I wanted to use it for you guys. So you could see like just how easily it blends out. It's a warm shade. Like this is definitely a bronzer, not a contour in any way, shape or form. It's definitely a little bit on the warm side, almost leaning orange. But in the summertime, when I have like a little bit of a tan or fake tan going on, I actually don't mind this tone of bronzer on my skin because I just feel like it makes you look so like healthy and sun kissed. This is definitely not a shade I would really prefer to use in the winter time, but for summer, it's so beautiful. It taps out and blends out so easily. I do have the mini, which is only $14. I definitely recommend the mini. It is plenty of product, but they do have a full size if you like go through product really quickly. All right, let's go ahead and set this face. If you ever see me making like the weirdest face when I do anything with my under eyes, setting it, putting on eyeshadow under there, that's because I have contacts and my eyes are like really, really sensitive. And so it always freaks me out that I'm gonna get makeup in them and like mess up my contacts and all that. So I make like the funniest faces when I'm putting on anything to do with my eyes because of that reason. <laughs> And if you ever drag your foundation down on your neck to help it match, which I almost always do, cause it's kind of hard for me to find like a perfect foundation match, definitely make sure you are setting down here as well. Because if you have just like wet foundation that's tacky all day, it's gonna come off on your clothes, on other people if you hug them, or your pets or anything like that. So wherever you put any sort of foundation, definitely make sure you are setting it. Next up, we are going to go in with my highlight. You guys saw I chose my Nabla Ozone highlight, one of my faves. I do wish my chin had a little bit more coverage. I do like that foundation. I do like how it's looking on my face right now, but my like acne and redness is kind of peeking through here, which I don't love. Next time I use this foundation, I'll definitely just have to spot conceal. I'm gonna add this highlight. This is such a beautiful tone and shade. I know I've raved about this highlight a ton of times on my channel, but if you ever see it go on sale at Ulta, cause a lot of times Nabla does go on sale, I definitely recommend checking this out. This is the only shade of the highlight that I own. Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. This is the only shade I own, but I am in love with Next, we're gonna go in with the Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infuse Blush in the shade Seychelles. I don't reach for this very often, but I feel like every time I do, I wonder why I don't, because it is a really, really pretty sort of blush. It's a little bit more on the nudie side, but it does have that like little hint of rosiness and blushiness, and it just adds a really pretty like natural flush to your cheeks. And because it's primer infused, it lasts a really, really long time on the cheeks. This is another one though, I would wait to get it on sale. I feel like Buxom, goes on sale a lot, especially during the 21 Days of Beauty, which is when I pick this blush up. So I would definitely wait for a sale. I wouldn't pay full price. Like, look how pretty that is. Oof. And I feel like it blends into this warm tone bronzer, like really perfectly. And it complements this blue eyeshadow. Mm. This is a good one. We're just gonna run a little bit of this Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift through these brows. This is a pretty pigmented pencil and I don't need a lot of it. And it's really thick. And that's like why it's taking me forever to finish up. I can see this like, being in my project pan the rest of the year and or me just like not even finishing it through the year, which is 
such a bummer, but that's all right. Then I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Fix. This is her clear brow gel. I don't love this. If you can tell when I pull it out on the wand, it's like super thick and goopy. It does kind of like hold your brows in place all day, which is nice. But like, can you see how like thick it is in your brows? This is another one I'm like unofficially trying to finish up. I don't want to put another brow gel in my project pan because the benefit one when I put it in, it took me so long and I'm like, I don't want to do that to myself. <laughs> so I'm just unofficially trying to use this one up and I will, you know, just use it whenever I feel like it and don't feel like I have to finish it. You know what I mean? But like, look how thick and like, I don't know, it's just real thick in the brows, but it does hold them in place. So, all right, let's finish up these eyes. I'm just going to take this light blue right here and lightly run it along my lower lash line. I am going to take a tiny bit of the dark blue as well on a flat brush and just put a little bit on the outer corner. Oh, this is such a pigmented shade. Holy moly. Okay. Well, we're going to blend that out because that looks crazy. Add a little bit more of that light blue to try to mesh it together. Oh my gosh. Okay. I do not, I do not like this. <laughs> I'm just going to try to buff this out. It's like not buffing out well okay well i don't like this lower lash line it's just so why why is it so like it's so harsh i like cannot blend it out okay well i did like this look before the lower lash line but i'm hoping that adding some mascara will help fix it before that though we're gonna go in with color pop flexitarian as my inner corner highlight you guys already know and then we're gonna add nabla ozone up here all right, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and apply my Tarte Man Eater Mascara off camera. I'll be right back. All righty, we're next gonna line our lips with my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Iconic Nude. I cannot stop using this lip liner. I kind of unintentionally overlined them, but that's all right. I did not mean to do that, but it's fine, it's fine. Next up, we're gonna use my uh, Huda Beauty Cream Lipstick in the shade Impress. And last but not least, we're going to set it all down with my Jason Wu Matte Setting Spray. And that was it, you guys. That was a little shot my stash get ready with me. I'm really happy that I was able to use a little bit of mixture of some new products as well as some old faithfuls and some ones that I haven't reached for in a while that I wanted to rediscover in my collection. Not going to lie, for someone who does not like blue eyeshadow and is very intimidated by it, I really, really love how this eyeshadow look turned out. I think it's beautiful. I think it's that beautiful, stunning shimmer shade. Do you see those like gold flecks of sparkle through it? Oh my goodness gracious, that shade is so stinking pretty. So this quad is definitely a win in my eyes. I don't know how often I will get use out of it because it is blue eyeshadow, but I'm telling you, I really, really like how this eye look turned out. Like I'm kind of shocked how much I'm loving it. And I like how the rest of my makeup turned out as well. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome. I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.